Bit of a different one today. Just before I went to bed last night, I saw a tweet from Electronic Arts, and we're going to take a look at it now. Here's the tweet. They're a 10, but they only like playing single-player games. Now, you may look at that and feel nothing. It may seem quite innocuous or just a joke, and many people will see it that way. A statement designed to provoke emotion and engagement on a social media platform. To others, it's just nothing. Noise that will fly by unnoticed. But with some context and the fact that this is coming from EA, an account with 6.4 million followers who employ thousands of people who make single player games and generate millions of dollars in revenue for them, I feel like this statement has further implications. If you don't understand the meme format, it started gaining popularity a couple weeks ago on TikTok and then spread to Twitter. The basic concept from my understanding is that a person is attractive to you as in a 10 out of 10 but there's a quality of their personality or behavior that you don't like. So the EA Twitter account is essentially saying here that if somebody enjoys playing single player games, that's a bad personality trait to have, even though they're physically attractive to you. Let's just take a look at some of the single player games that EA have published over the years. The Mass Effect trilogy. Mass Effect 2, one of the best sci-fi single player games ever for me personally. The Sims, huge franchise. Dead Space, Unravel, Sea of Solitude, Jedi Fallen Order, an excellent Star Wars game, the entire Dragon Age franchise, some great fantasy RPGs in there, Crisis, a technical achievement for its time in terms of graphics and physics. And that's not to mention games that are multiplayer but also have good single player games like Titanfall 2, Battlefield 3, you could maybe even throw It Takes Two in there as well. Yeah, technically multiplayer, it's co-op but it's a story experience from start to finish and that won many Game of the Year awards. But sorry folks, if you like any of those games that I just mentioned, then you suck. That's the message that EA are sending with this tweet. But the main thing that bothers me so much about this is that there is no consideration at all for the game developers who work for EA. No meaningful thought has gone into this for the message that this sends. No empathy or care for the people making the games that generate the money. The Sims, a single player game, is one of the biggest money makers for EA even today. In the EA quarterly earnings call from fiscal year 19 quarter 3, EA stated that The Sims 4 had generated over $1 billion in revenue and overall The Sims as a series had surpassed $5 billion US dollars in revenue at that point. Think about how much more money it's made for them since then. All the expansion packs, all the DLCs. Now I'm going to ask you to put yourself in someone else's shoes for a second. Imagine that you're a developer at EA. Maybe you're working at Bioware on the new Mass Effect or Dragon Age game. Single players. Maybe you're working at Motive as an animator on the Dead Space remake. Single player. Perhaps you're a programmer at Respawn coding for the new Star Wars Jedi Survivor game. Single player. Or a QA tester on an EA original title with a much smaller team. Most likely a single player game. And you wake up this morning, you have your breakfast, you have your coffee, and you see that tweet from what's essentially your boss. It'll be shared everywhere. It'll be doing the rounds on social media, on Discord, Slack, text messages. Everyone that works for a studio that EA publishes is most likely to see that tweet. And your boss thinks that single player games are worthless. And they've just shared that with millions of people. And you've still got to go to work and make that single player game. So the company can make money from your talents, your passion and your effort. How does that make you feel? The tweet itself, yeah. Maybe it'll get a lot of impressions and it'll get people talking about EA, but how does this make your employees feel? How does it make gamers who enjoy single player games feel? What if you're somebody who can't play multiplayer games? Isn't this just alienating a large part of your fan base and adding fire to the stupid debates online like single player versus multiplayer, Xbox versus PlayStation and all that nonsense? And they made this worse, they dug the hole further too and doubled down on it when they received some flack, trying to make a positive spin on this and quote tweeted it saying, Roast well deserved, we'll take this L because playing single player games actually makes them an 11. They haven't deleted the tweet, they haven't apologised to their employees, they've just made a bad attempt to spin it and save face. Why don't they celebrate some of their games and developers instead of shooting them down? Wrapping things up, I love video games, they're a great escape for me and many others. I've made a career out of video games and every day I'm grateful for the hard work and passion that the game developers pour into their games, single player and multiplayer. And I think that those people deserve to be treated with more respect than this, especially by their employers. Good single player games generate a lot of revenue too. At the end of March this year, Bandai Namco revealed that Elden Ring had sold 13.4 million copies. Keep in mind that that game released on February 25th. One month, 13.4 
million copies. That's a lot of money. This from an article in 2018 from Super Data Research. The surging emphasis of rich storytelling in games is a key reason why story-driven titles are earning big. During their respective launch months, The Witcher 3 earned 69 million, Uncharted 4 made 56 million, and God of War raked in 131 million in total digital revenue. 131 million for a single player game. The results show that there is a significant demand for narrative experiences among gamers. Ultimately for me the notion of disparaging somebody because they only play single player games is ridiculous. The player first mentality obviously hasn't been applied here and this coming from the official EA account on Twitter who many employees depend on for a salary developing single player games I just think it's incredibly out of touch. And when EA tweeted this, they obviously didn't think about the long-term repercussions. What's going to happen when the time comes to show and advertise their new single-player games? Dead Space Remake, new Mass Effect, new Dragon Age, new Sims DLC, Jedi, Originals titles. They're just going to get dogpiled on for asinine statements like this. It won't go away. I'm going to leave you with a message from Zach Mumbach. He's a developer who used to work for EA at Visceral Games. His last work in progress project there was codenamed Ragtag. And this was the Star Wars third person adventure action game. He quoted the statement that EA made and said the following, this is the company that shut down my studio and laid off approximately 100 great developers because we were making a single player game. That's how game developers feel about this. Think twice how you represent yourself, be kind and treat them better next time.